back again for more. It is now day 60. God, I don't want to make that rhyme. 64. <laughs> that was uh, not what I was planning. All right. Today we're going to build north. You see on the distance that little sliver out there? That is a tower of sand that I built out there a uh, good long while ago. And t I'm going to be building out to it today. Um, I can tell you right now, I'm not going to make it today. <laughs> uh, working in water, because I'm going to be working in the water, uh, this will not be an above ground build, takes forever. <laughs> it's, it's a very, very slow process. Because you have to constantly be coming up for air, and you've got to uh, deal with, ugh, not what I was trying to do, deal with all sorts of annoying little hiccups that will arise. Plus, working with water is just a real pain. I mean, even the best planning, it's just a nightmare to deal with. Uh, it doesn't always respond in ways you think it should. And it's, like, water gets a little tricky when you uh, get into an ocean and base layers. Like, when you're just putting down single blocks of water that you're building yourself, it's a relatively safe substance to use. Like, it, just, it does what it's supposed to do, and it does it pretty well. You can see here I've reached the little dirt I just put down to protect the sand from falling on me and the water from coming in. But I will reach the end of the pier here shortly and water will come in rushing in. We'll destroy my lights and it'll get dark. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, I'm going to need an, there's the water now, an, absorber, an exorbitant amount of glass. And for some reason, I can't seem to play sand properly. There we go. Alright, so that's about as far as that's going for the moment. Pick up the loose ones. Now I have to start from the outside and build a... Let's call it a, uh, a walkway. Maybe a safe thing to call it. But a... Uh, Uh, I'm going about this the slow way. I need to build a... Digging underwater, of course, sucks. It takes forever. I'm running out of air. I'm about to die. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, and trying to fight water currents doesn't make this any easier. Ugh, I should put off going back around. Back around. Uh, if you've never built in water, um, <laughs> be prepared for a pain in the butt. Uh, one of the easiest methods for building in water, a little air pocket, is to, um, what's the word I'm thinking of here? gonna work quite right. I'm sure I'm just like missing something. There's probably an easier way to do this and I just don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> like I've never really spent an extensive amount of time learning exactly how water works in the game. Like the best thing I know is that uh ugh, there we go. Good enough. Is that uh see why does it keep coming in? Water is not supposed to move horizontally unless it hits another object. Like, you know, if there's another block, it should move horizontally. Like, see there, it's not coming in, because it drops down. But, like, it was coming in before, and that didn't make any damn sense to me. Uh, like I said, unless it hits, you know, a flat sub... What? Get away from my boat! Stupid, ugly, shit-colored sheep. <laughs> Alright, uh-huh. 
It's not supposed to uh, flow forward unless it hits something solid. Like, um... But then, like I said, every block in an ocean is a source block. So, it, it responds differently than just a single block of water fall, falling down. So it can be iffy sometimes. So, let's see, that should be enough for now, I think. Let's see. Now the fun part. Grab some glass. What I'm doing here is I'm basically going to build a long glass tunnel all the way out to that little spire of sand in the distance. And it's going to... There's going to be, you know, something out there when I'm finished. But this will just be, you know, the safe way of getting there without having to go outside. Because my final objective in almost everything is always to minimize my exposure to the mobs. I mean, that's how I maximize survival, right? Less mobs, more surviving. So, I'm going to make a big glass tunnel all the way there. Well, I can maintain my air supply here. Let's see. Break, 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 break. Digging. You can't, probably can't even tell what I'm doing. I know it's dark underwater. I don't know how well the game... I'll light up as much as I can while I'm doing this, but it may end up taking quite a while before you even notice what the hell's going on. Today's music is an artist named Piotr Pilowski. Uh, I think it's Piotr. Piotr, something like that. And, uh, it's a piece called Kyrie, um, which I think that means, like, assassin or murder or death or something in some language. I don't know. It just sounds familiar, and I know what it means. I just can't quite recall <laughs> exactly what it means. Uh, I'm sure I'll figure it out here shortly. Uh, which, what I'm doing here is, you can see I'm filling in to uh, get rid of the water. And see, why did it come... It's come forward like at full strength, full blast. It doesn't make any sense. It's like... It's building source blocks where it shouldn't be. I don't know. The ocean is weird. See, look, it's just... Those aren't bad, but... It's kind of hard to tell with the glass. Get you out of the way. I guess I'll just have to do this a little bit at a time. Building walls and filling in and then digging out and then building out more and then filling in and then digging out. And it would just be a repetitive process for a while until I get to the end. So. But, uh, I picked this piece. It's a, uh, I really like this artist. Uh, he had several, he had, uh, three pieces in this album. I don't know how many pieces he's got total, but he had three pieces on this album. And they were all really, I don't know, I really like his sound. It's got a nice... I don't know, it's just, it's, it's a very well-sounding, it's well-sounding, <laughs> but uh, it's enjoyable, I like, you know, good music. I was uh, talking with a friend of mine about uh, a style of music, uh, like audible chants, and... Um, like, I don't know if that's exactly the right word, but it was, uh, like, I was trying to figure out what's the type of music where people just, you know, sort of, like, sing and, oh, you know, to the music without actually having real words or vocals to the music. And, uh, so that's what we got into, trying to figure that out. And, uh, the closest I've been able to come to so far are arias that are, uh, you know, vocal without being words, and it's starting to get dark outside. Ugh. 
Which is, you know, fine while I'm inside. It's Even underwater is fine, because the mobs don't actually come underwater, but they do certainly uh, spawn on top of it, and I don't want to get surrounded. I better go jump in the bed real quick. Uh, there's lots of music genres. Like, you hear stuff all the time, and you really don't even know what it is. Like, there's, you know, a hundred probably different genres, and then... There's sub-genres and cross-genres, and it's just, it's ridiculous uh, how long, I mean, how long, how um, many there are sometimes. Like, I guess it's great in a way that there's that many styles and varieties of music, but it's a little daunting to have to, like, understand, like, if you want to be you know, a big fan and follower of music, you really gotta know the different types and be able to identify them when you want to learn that type of music. Oh, what was this I was listening to? And how do I find it later? Well, knowing the genre would... Oh, I wasted a piece. Knowing the genre would help. And it's just one of those extra things that's nice to have as an option. Just to, it's like, yeah, I know that, or I'm familiar with this style. So, today's piece is, I have no idea, I found it under uh, uh, a tag, not a genre, on Jamendo. I, look, I picked the random tag, and it was the, uh, the adventure tag, and so I have no idea what that means to music. I don't think adventure is a music genre. It's just like a random classification that somehow got added to this. Get you out the way, and, nope, that one. I hate wasting glass. Before this is over with, I'm gonna have like crazy low health. <laughs> like, you know, every time I start to drown, you lose a little health, and you lose a little armor, and you lose a little health, and you lose a little armor, and it's just gonna, it's gonna kill me. I know it. If I don't die at least once, something's wrong. I, I cannot possibly be that efficient. Okay, now that I've got another section locked off, I'll go fill it up and dig it out. Fill it up and dig it out. I, don't know, I like the, the uh, like I said before, I'm a big organization freak, so the classification of genres is really important, but there's just, it's so many, and there's so many things that are so similar that it, it's, it can almost seem kind of redundant, like, what good does it do? See, now, how is there air there, but it looks like a solid block from the distance. Like, I don't understand what's going on here. Like, look, I'm getting air, but I'm in the block. Like I said, water just acts funny when you're... See, that doesn't make any sense. Now it's over there. What the heck? It's, it's weird. Here it comes again, and I'm out of the water, and I'm in the water, and then I'm out of the water, and then I'm in the water. Like, how did it gum that many blocks to stay solid? It must have, like, a unique nature of the way the blocks function when there's they're in a single chamber tube. Because, like, normally the height of water recedes, and it's not receding, or there's some weird glitch system because I'm in the glass. I don't know what it is exactly. But something is not kosher. <laughs> and it's just not working right. It's kind of freaky. I don't know. Weird water. I'm going to go through a lot of shovels. Constantly going to redig the same sand over and over. Dig, dig, dig. Oh, oh. Fill, 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 fill. I do love the way sand drops, though. It makes it ideal for these types of applications. Uh, I suppose I could use gravel, but gravel digs slower than sand. 
and uh, anytime you're digging with gravel, you also have the potential for your gravel to come up as a flint, and then you lose your gravel. So at least with sand, you never lose it. You like always keep your sand. Unless you use it to make glass or use it to uh, make sandstone, you don't ever lose sand. It's kind of like dirt. Well, it can blow up, you know. Creepers and TNT can blow it up. But uh, it doesn't... Oops, wrong item. It doesn't, like, you know, just disappear. Otherwise. But yeah, explosions do destroy blocks. Um, not always, but they sometimes do. It's just sort of like, I think it's a random algorithm or something like, uh, like, you can blow up, like I said, a, a block of TNT inside a, uh, a 5x5 five five cube of some of a stone, regular stone, smooth stone, will um, be completely demolished, but you won't get, you know, your 24 blocks worth of stone out of it. It's not going to give you 24 back. You'll get like 9 out of that 24. It's like the stuff immediately right next to the explosion just sort of gets eaten. And uh, disappears, and you don't have to keep it. So, yeah. Explosions. Let's go and uh, do a little more digging on the tunnel outside. Mm, music's pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. What was I? Water looks so weird when it runs against the glass box. It's upstairs. I need some more glass. Should have some already smelted. Yeah, there's some. And let's grab a few more pieces of sand. I'll have to smelt some more glass later because I'm definitely going to need more. Uh, maybe I. <laughs> maybe I'm shooting too far here. Like, maybe I shouldn't be trying to build out that far. Um, a buddy of mine keeps asking, why do I. Why haven't I used the snow yet? What am I going to use the snow for? And, um,. Originally, I was going to put it here in the north before I decided to uh, go out here to um, uh, make this uh, area, whatever, this um, long glass bridge tunnel. So, grab a little bit of air. I destroyed that initial block there by placing the sand. Uh, I was going to put it out here to the north, but uh, since I decided to do this instead, I was just going to build out and still make glass, but it was going to be just a short little small observation area, but I figured it would be more fun to create something a little more large and time consuming. That way I had more to do too, because I've been finishing my projects lately on single videos and I don't like the, uh, it gets, you know, I like to branch it out, make things take a little longer, otherwise I run out of stuff to do. And I spend time in game wondering what I should be recording. <laughs> uh, I'm drowning again. Look how much health I'm losing, Jesus. <laughs> My armor's almost all gone. I'm going to get some more here shortly. There we go. Let's put a new air bubble. <sighs> there. Try not to die. Yet. <laughs> uh, where's there? It's getting dark. Under here. Yeah, it's still noon. It's 4 or 5 p.m. I don't know. I got a little while. Let's dig a little more and then I'll go back around and dig in from the inside. Let's get some more air. 
almost to the end of the pillar. Let's finish it out. If I don't run out of air. Okay. I get kind of lost when I'm building and totally forget to watch my air supply. No band I haven't heard in a while. Air supply. I should look them up after this. <laughs> I can't even remember what it is that was their their big hit now. It's like escaping me. And go there. Where, ugh, I got turned around. Where am I at? There we go. It's a little dark in here. Come on. Get some air. Get some air. Yes. Okay. Nope, there's still too much water coming in here. <laughs> Let's try to empty out some of these sections. Should be able to... Yeah, alright, cool, it works now. So a little more light down here makes it easier to see what I'm doing. Oh, crap, I'm drowning. <laughs> what is it? See, I got half an armor left and two and a half hearts. <laughs> I like to play rough. A little more, a little more. Awesome. Made it to the other side. Fill in a walkway. <clears throat> it's been a long video about me talking about air. <laughs> or my lack of it. Nope. I need to uh, eventually come in and build a floor. It's like the ground's getting deeper and deeper. So it's consuming more and more of my my sand supply, excuse me, my, uh, as I, uh, go out and do more of this. Or build, 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 I should say, instead of dig, dig, dig. There we go, place. I've been uh, going around doing a lot of looking into uh, different types of music to uh, add into the video lately. I'm trying to come up with different stuff. There, the space. And haha, water be gone. God, look at my health. I nearly died down here. Stuff. Like, I've got like two layers of sand at least beneath my feet that I need to get back. But before then, I need to put in a floor. I'll probably end up making it out of glass, too. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Uh, I might do it wood. But I think glass would be more interesting, at least. I might do a, uh, a wood block every now and then, though, just have something to put a torch on. I don't know, work out something. So it's a little interesting looking. For now, it's just about getting the structure there. Let's see, a couple more lamps. Mm, right about there. Alright, I'm gonna get some pork and uh, some new armor, and I'm gonna call it a day. So, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye!